Onyeri Catholic Archdiocese Archbishop Anthony Moheria is calling on political leaders to respect the church by desisting from addressing political issues in the houses of worship. Moheria expressed dissatisfaction with how the politicians continue to turn church podiums into political stages to address their differences. NTV's Ruth Samwe Chasenge tells us more. A church pulpit, a platform for speaking hope, life, the gospel. But over the years in various churches in Kenya, it has been given an alternative function, a podium for politics. While it is increasingly appearing to be more acceptable, there is a remnant in the church speaking against it. We are not just disappointed, but feel very hurt that once more we are witnessing the abuse and desecration of places of worship. Nyeri Catholic Archbishop Anthony Moheria is not looking to mind his words as he addresses the political leaders who often feel entitled to be given an opportunity to speak at the pulpits. When we respect and honor your presence by saying we recognize you, feel satisfied, but kindly the kind of things we've seen in the last two months are totally unacceptable. For example, Sunday the 9th June, the head of state and his deputy highlighted their differences while addressing congregants who had attended the annual Akorino prayer conference in Akurum. And in my own estimation, and you have not told me otherwise, I think I have done what is possible within my limited ability. Nanita Indelea. What I want to say is that let people not create narratives that do not exist. Sunday morning, Andipi Geshagwa desisted from uttering political statements when he attended a church service in Nakuru. The service was led by Anglican Archbishop Jackson and Pitt, who in the past categorically said that the Anglican church platforms shall not accommodate political discourse. Well, on this day, in his presence, the politicians went on their polarizing politics despite being warned against it. Your Excellency, sir, I just want to appeal to you to inform you that we are fully behind you. You have the required experience which is needed to run this country. Kwa hivyo ikifika wakati yako, Your Excellency, uwe na kika ya kwamba sisi. The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And I appreciate your efforts for uniting Mount Kenya. Don't unite Mount Kenya at the expense of the other tribes in the Republic of this country. And that should not be done at the expense of bad mouthing the name of one Raila Amolo Odinga. But these are just a few of the numerous incidents when politicians are allowed to take the pulpits. Their convictions and messages notwithstanding. It's very embarrassing and I ask God for pardon even myself, as I think this country should, for the abuses we've seen our politicians making of our places of worship. The places of worship belong to God and we cannot turn our places of worship to marketplace. Dear leaders, we must change. Ruth Sarmui Chesenge and TV.